nails, eyebrows, massages it's not only pleasant, but also useful. Taking care of yourself is sacred, and it doesn't matter what gender or species you are. Even in harsh Africa, spas are respected. In the contact list of every African animal, you'll find Volaclia's masters at pulling parasites out from under the skin. What do you expect? Even beauty treatments are brutal in Africa. These specialists take patients almost all over Africa. To recognize a feathered healer is very simple, a carcass the size of a starling, a gray olive coat, and the main instrument a bright red or bright yellow beak, the clientele of feathered healers is massive. No lion or crocodile can compare with the number of murders by parasites as the whole continent is crawling with them. Patients don't have to make an appointment, stand in line and quarrel with grannies. Vokavui finds you on his own. The team sees, examines, and treats you on the spot. This is what I understand a motivated medic. True, their motivation is not monetary and gastronomic. Gadfly larvae, lice, and other creepers are an excellent snack for the master parasitologist. Birds, of course, can snack on a grasshopper or a juicy fruit. But why, when one lousy buffalo can feed a whole flock of volacla? Ta will not leave anyone in trouble, neither zebras, nor giraffes, nor antelopes. But the voles also have their favorites, rhinos and buffalo. There are so many parasites on their huge backs that the birds fill up their belly. It is even difficult for them to fly afterwards. The fact that birds are not indifferent to buffalo is reflected in their second name, buffalo starlings. The whole procedure resembles a visit to a surgeon. The birds actively examine the patient for suspicious tubercles where a larva might be hiding. And the birds can climb even in the most uncomfortable places, face, ears or belly. Having found the target, the volcano acts quickly, it squeezes the skin with its strong paws, makes a quick cut with its powerful beak, and, like pincers, pulls the creep out from under the skin. Everything happens without anesthesia, and the feathered bird does not stitch up the wound. But animals meekly tolerate the shortcomings of avian medicine. After all, a live larva under the skin is worse than a small wound on it, taking advantage of everyone's respect, birds abuse their position. By removing the larva from under the skin, the wolffish drink its fresh blood. What's more, the feathered birds can pick at a healed wound on purpose, as long as the patient firmly believes it's necessary for his cure. But no one even tries to take away the license from the feathered ones. First, because there isn't one, and second, sadistic intentions in no way detract from the usefulness of wolves. Dot on the job, feathered birds spend their entire lives. Even amorous birds do not hesitate to work directly on patients. At the opportune time, different for each region of Africa, the male entices the ladies with a song, sitting on the back of the animal. One does not have to wait long, the wolfish birds are gregarious. The females enchanted by the serenade completely forget about their work and all decency, but there is a problem, they will not build a reliable nest on the rhinoceros's back. The birds have to look for a more comfortable place. Usually it becomes a rocky crevice or a tree hollow. There the master's parasites breed three to five interns. The pair puts the young on the wing by joint efforts. And also that the chicks join the staff of savannah doctors.